So you want to cook up a whole chicken and it be nice and juicy. Well, I've got a way. The Cuisinart Chef's Convection Toaster Oven can get the job done. And I'm going to show you how right now. I'm Darnell with Wave Oven Recipes. And let's get started on that whole chicken. All right, so here's our whole chicken. It's about a five and a half pound bird. I'm going to be seasoning it with some Gromates Montreal chicken seasoning, some Old Bay seasoning, and some freshly cracked black pepper. I'm going to get the Cuisinart Chef's Convection Toaster Oven started up. I'm going to change it over to bake and going to press in here and down temperature to 375, up my cook time. I'm going to ratchet it all the way up to 90 minutes, hour, 30 minutes cooking time. And I'm going to use regular convection, not speed convection at all on this cook. I'm going to hit start to let things start preheating. While it's preheating, I'm going to season both sides of this bird. I'm not going to truss it at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and season it up now. And you can use the seasonings of your choice when you season your bird up. I like uh, this mixture that I have here of this chicken seasoning. A little touch of Old Bay to give it a little kick. The pepper gives it a nice little twist on the flavor as well. So that combination works good for me. And, you know, it's nothing very expensive or very complicated. You don't have to go, you know, searching all over too many parts of your store to find these uh, simple mixtures of ingredients for seasoning and it makes things taste really good. So just uh, getting a little of this black pepper on here. And if you're wondering where something like the pepper grinder is, you can look on the link in the video description of my Amazon shop and you can pick up anything there through my referral links and also there's a referral link down there for the actual cooker itself if you happen to get it and you want to help this channel when you get it, you can use that referral link. And so just going to finish up seasoning some here with some of this and I just sprinkle on generously I don't really measure how much I put on I just put a bit of a coating of everything on both sides and just let it go at that I will mention that while I'm cooking this I'm not going to like be flipping or moving this bird at all once I get it in there it's just going to set for the full 90 and just go so once I put it in there close up. Lord willing we won't come back for 90 minutes. So put some more pepper on this side here. And get it covered a little bit. And so I'm not going to even though I could like put a meat probe in there to or meat probes, you know like the breast and the thigh and all to measure temp. I'm not going to since I've done this cook before with this cooker as a uh, previous kind of test cook since the pack came with two chickens anyway. So I'm pretty confident that about 90 minutes will do it, but I will test temperature at the end of the cook just to ensure doneness. So we'll just let the cooker finish its preheating and then we'll get it on in there. I've got a rack on the lowest rack of the cooker so it's on the very lowest rack and I've got a pan here this baked pan is actually from the Emerald Pagasi Power Air Fryer 360 XL I just like it because it's a little shallower it's a little easier to clean than the one that comes with the Cuisinart Chef's Convection Toaster Oven but if you don't have this and you have the Cuisinart Chef's Convection Toaster Oven you can just use the baked pan that comes with it you know I'd recommend maybe you maybe put one of those Copper Chef grill mats or something down to prevent extra sticking on that pan that pan gets a little sticky so just gonna let this finish preheating bring you right back all right our preheat's done going to get the pan on in there slide it right on in like so and close it on up make sure that drip pans in there snug so there's no excess venting of heat and we'll let this go for about 90 minutes. And I'll bring you on back and we'll see how it's looking. Alright, so 
cooked for an hour and a half. I'm going to take my quick read thermal pen here and I'm going to check out that temperature. I'm going to carefully get it out there. And I see it's 180, 175, 180 down there. I'm going to try another spot. 173. I know that it's cooked down here because it always cooks lower but a little faster but it's 178 down there so we're good and done so hour and a half always turns out real nice for me with about you know five or six pounder but always check anyway because you just never know you never can be too careful oh got some juices came out of there that's all right so basically what I'm going to do I'm going to basically just cover this with foil let it set for maybe 10 to 15 minutes and then I'll uh, bring it back. That helps the juices reabsorb a little bit. All right, so we let it set for maybe 15 to 20 minutes with the foil on top. And that's how it looks. Looks pretty nice to me. And I don't mind a little, uh, little searing or a little char there. A little bit on that side on the top. and kind of spin it around for you give you a look at the other side but I think that looks pretty decent so I'm gonna go ahead and cut into it let's see I'll just move it around this way for ease of getting a slice off go right into the breast meat right down into that breast meat and cut it right here and get a nice slice out Gonna take this and get that off of there. So the meat looks nice and tender and juicy. So have a look at that there. I'm just going to cut this piece off here. A little bit of that uh, well charred meat the way I like it. So that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna just go ahead, move the camera around a little bit, and we'll do a taste test. All right, so we've got our finished chicken here. So let's do a taste. All right, that turned out very moist. Turns out very nice. It does that chicken up. You don't have to move it at all. You don't have to do anything but set it, forget it, come back and eat it. And that's real nice to me. So can cook up your whole chicken in the Cuisinart Chef's Convection Toaster Oven. If you got a similar type cooker, you probably can do the same type of thing, and it should turn out nice for you. So, with that, in the video description, like I mentioned, you've got links and referral links and other such that you can also, you know, check out and check out links for even merch for this channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share the video with a friend, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and good eating.